In today's video, we'll be going over mandibular lateral incisors. Today we will be looking at tooth number 26. The mandibular lateral incisors calcify at 3 to 4 months, complete their crowns by 4 to 5 years, erupt at 7 to 8 years, and complete root development by 10 years. Let's take a look at each individual view of the tooth. Let's start with the facial. So some general features of the mandibular lateral incisor include that the distal incisal angle is more rounded than the mesial incisal angle. To figure out the height of contour of the mandibular anterior teeth, you can use a mnemonic I5M, which means that the mesial and distal height of contour on the central incisor, the lateral incisor, and only the mesial aspect of the mandibular canine is in the incisal third. The distal height of contour on the mandibular canine is in the middle third. Now moving on to the mesial view, the incisal edge is lingual to the apex from proximal views. Now looking at the lingual view, we can see the mandibular lateral incisor with a more prominent distal marginal ridge. There's also a barely discernible lingual fossa. This tooth is fairly smooth anatomically. Moving on to the distal, the distal aspect has a deeper root depression than the mesial aspect. From the incisal view, you can see the incisal edge slopes gingivally, and there is a distal lingual twist on the incisal edge. This helps differentiate the lateral from the mandibular central. From this view, you can also see that the cingulum is slightly off-center to the distal. The other teeth in the oral cavity that have the cingulum to the distal are the maxillary central incisors and the mandibular canines. Let's now look at the root structure and the pulp. The mandibular lateral incisor, like the other incisors, has one root with three pulp horns and generally one root canal. The mandibular lateral incisor has a longer root than the mandibular central incisor. Compared to mandibular central incisors, the mandibular lateral root has more of an elliptical and oval shape in cross-section than a circular shape. It's wider facial lingually when cut in cross-section as well, and the root curves distally. It also has a deeper developmental depression on the distal than on the mesial side. Another thing to note is that 43% of mandibular lateral incisors will have two root canals. So that was our review of the mandibular lateral incisor. If you'd like to learn more about other teeth, check out our dental anatomy module at mydentalkey.com. And the 3D images used in this video were brought to you by Bonebox. Bonebox is a great tool for learning dental anatomy. Check them out on the App Store today.